The quality. Yeah. <laughs> the quality. The quality. You have a good cigar, people are gonna come yeah. back. The man knows ties like nobody else. Steve Saka right now engaging in what's called conversation with the masses. How does one become an educator for premium cigars? The hat's terrible, but this, <laughs> this might be genius. Do these glasses make me look fat? Behind me, some of the stuff San Latano's putting out, that's AJ Fernandez, including uh, The Bull, which is available as a Habano. So many new releases coming for this PCA. Part of what's interesting here is that this show is about five months earlier, four months earlier than the show is normally. So some of these brands had to work a little bit of overtime to make sure they had everything to release for the retailers. That's what this show is about. The retailers taking a look at what's new, what's happening, and then getting their orders in so they have the cigars you want to smoke. Here at the PCA, we often see cigar manufacturers in the wild. Here at Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, a rare live sighting of Steve Saka. Not often seen amongst everyday people, usually only on Facebook and live streams. But here he is in his traditional chair, assuming the position of a man who is completely on top of the world. Steve Saka right now engaging in what's called conversation with the masses. Let's watch a little bit and see the master at work. Steve Saka wearing the traditional black with blue jeans and sneakers. Steve Saka with the people. Welcome to Martini Cigar, made in the USA, straight from New York City, bringing all the flavor. This is Sue Martini, he's the owner bless you, bless you. and the master blender. In my trips to New York on a regular basis, I'm minding my own business. John, the 34th? Oh, 29th. 29th, 29th, right. So uh, I, I spend a lot of time in Hell's Kitchen. I love Hell's Kitchen. I'm minding my own business. I come across these guys. I couldn't believe it. Who, in the, with New York taxes, New York insanity, who the hell is hand rolling in New York? I bought everything I could get my hands on. This was a couple of years back. You've smoked them, Fingers Moy. I've smoked them. First of all, great to meet you. Thank you. How in the world do you, do you get away father. with? It was my father. He started in 74. So it's, this is our 50th year in New York City, same location. Get out of here. Crazy and it's a postage stamp. But yeah. there's a guy right yeah, up front, rolling, in. rolling away. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. 50 years, your father years. started. He where started where is he from? Dominican Republic. OK. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, he did it before I was born. And then I was, I was sworn, as, as I was growing up, I'm like, he was crazy because he even never spoke English. And how can you manage a business in New York City with all these taxes, all these I stuff tell you how. for how long? But the quality. Yeah. <laughs> the quality. That's good quality. You have a good cigar, yeah. people are going to come yeah. back. It doesn't matter. It, it is absolutely fact. Now, I've had the flat iron. Where are you getting your tobaccos? Are they all uh, Dominican? Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. Okay. The tobacco. Uh, we use uh, a lot of binders and, and wrapper from Ecuador as well, and San Andre from Mexico. But uh, most of the filler is uh, Dominican and Nicaragua. Who are you wearing today? Ah, I'm Colonel Stogie. This is uh, a double breasted Molly tuxedo. And I'm with Stogie Mag. I thought that that Stogie Mag was a magazine. Oh no 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 no! It's a magazine, as in like firearms. Okay, Colonel. Yeah. Uh, what what are we doing here? It's the world's first rapid deployable cigar magazine. It has a built-in humidifier pack that is replaceable. Holds up to six cigars. It has the humidification built in. Yeah, you can see it right here in the cutaway pack. You can replace it. It's just like a magazine follower. You pop it out, slide it out, spring comes down, and you can replace the pack right in there. So you don't need, if you just want a couple of cigars for your desk, you don't need the whole humidor. Nope. Or you're going out to the golf range, gun range, or you're going out to a bachelor party or bachelorette party. All right, that might be genius. That might be. That might, the hat's terrible. But this, <laughs> this might be genius. Holy cow. It's fantastic. Thank you. That's brilliant. Appreciate well done. It. Now, the hand rolling is not an easy task, not an easy job. There's a tremendous amount that goes into this. The people at, at Toscano, very unique flavor, as our friend here is making it happen.
Looks great. Do these glasses make me look fat? As we often discuss, La Flor, La Flor Dominicana, make some big, big cigars. They make punch you in the face cigars, and that's not saying that they're overpowering. They're strong, they are bold. It, it's the choice that they make, and they make excellent cigars. I'm looking forward to this, which is the 30th anniversary, three decades, of La Flor Dominicana uh, doing cigars. So I believe this is a six and a half inch. My problem? It's gonna be the chisel shape. I can't stand the chisel shape, but I love what they make. So now I've got to make a Sophie's choice in whether or not this mouthfeel is going to prevent me from enjoying what they've created for their 30th anniversary. The struggle is real, people. Very, very real. But that, that's going to be a bestseller. You may want to ask your local tobacconist about it right now. So this is Cigar Oasis. Now, no, you can see, it's your shop, man. You can do what you want. I'm not going to stop Mike from stopping in. I was just, uh, I was telling our, our, our peoples here, everybody at Eat, Drink, Smoke Nation, I actually do have one of their products. It's this right here that I have. So the idea is, is that if you're not getting the humidification that you want in your humidor, maybe you've got, for me, it's actually a, an electric, like refrigerated kind of humidor. You add distilled water to this, and there's a fan system that's going to move, basically humidify through that water. So it lasts a good long time, but you're really able to control everything. I, I got to admit, Mike, it's a very, it's a very worthwhile product. It's a kind of a unique invention. How's it going? Uh, incredible. Yeah, we introduced this in 1998, the first company to introduce electronic humidification for the cigar industry. And since then, it's been an incredible ride. Travis That's right why here. you do B-roll. We have, are you telling us how to do our job? No, I was trying you to put on one hat and all of a sudden you're an expert. No, I'm just a veg okay. village idiot. Travis, <laughs> wait, you were an educator for what? Cigars, premium cigars. How does one become an educator for premium cigars? You convince the bosses to let you do something that's crazy and, and out of the norm. So you went around teaching cigar shops about cigars so they could educate the customer? I taught the retail staff, sometimes the retail owners and consumers, doing consumer event pairings, uh, experiential, um, created kits that would teach about it, like the wrappers, what okay. they did, the binders, what they did. So, what are the yeah. top two? Not even top three, I'm not gonna pressure that hard. The top two things you think that retailers don't emphasize enough to first time or even regular customers? Proper cutting, proper lighting. It's Ferio Tego. The story of Ferio Tego involves this man right here, who every year could be the best dressed man at the PCA, that's Michael Herklotz. Now, every picture of him, everywhere, is a suit that must be custom fitted at least 73 times before it meets his approval. The man knows ties like nobody else, possibly the best dressed person at the PCA. We will find out whether or not that's true when we rank all of the choices. That's coming up. I was actually looking for somebody who can give me a good recipe on shrimp cocktail. What is a good recipe for shrimp cocktail? The, the secret? Of course, right. The cut in the line. <laughs> Your pleasure. <laughs>